Our good friend Jennifer Lopez is back home here in New York City. She's fresh off the Met Gala. And as always, <laughs> she's got a lot going on. A new album out this summer, a new movie, which is crazy good, and yes. so much more. Hey. Hi. Hi. We're the so happy you're <laughs> back with us. That Met Gala look, sorry, girl. We had to freeze frame you it. like look it? We loved, I loved it. it. I like you know, look at that. I sometimes it, play a game called Imagine Me yeah. in This. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever? And I just imagined myself but in this. There'd is, be some things hanging. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got to say, the hat, the whole look. I mean, Thank what made you. you say yes to that? You know, it was funny. I wasn't sure about the hat. Yeah? Yeah, because I just liked, I thought the dress yes. kind of stood oh. on its own. Yes. But it did add something. And when you think about Karl Lagerfeld, then mm. it was kind of a tribute to him. Yeah. You know, there was a grandness to it. There was a glamour to it, you know. Uh, and I thought, you know, whatever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. I'll put it on. I'll do the hat. And everybody <laughs> wanted me to do the hat. Yes. You know, you know when everybody's like, do the hat. Yes. Yeah. Do you so actually, do was that, that pure pressure? Was that some pure I pressure? Do. I suffer tremendous amounts of peer pressure and glam. <laughs> you do? Just in glam, though. All the time. I feel yes. like you listen to your own instincts of most course. of the time no, in they life. They really can't push me into doing anything I really don't want to do. Right, but the hat yeah. you did. But I did the hat. Because yeah. I thought at the end of the day, I was like, this is nice. Yeah. Do you, you've been to a million of those. Yeah. yeah. Are, they, are they fun? And what do you do once you get Tell inside? The, I enjoy it. Yeah. I enjoy it. But, well, first of all, I'm such a girl. You're, I love getting dressed yeah. up. Yes. Like, that that, that part of it is like the most fun part of it. Yeah. Like, what are we going to do? Yeah. What are we going to create? Yes. Yeah. There's a creative process to that that's mm -hmm. really fun for me. Yes. So, you know, and you guys know, you know, put the shoes with the bag yeah. and the yeah. this yeah. and the yeah. that and how am I going to do my hair and my makeup <laughs> and blah, blah, And so that part I really, really like. And then getting out there and... What about the actual party? Away. The actual party itself is... Is, is nice. It? Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's nice. You see all these people yeah. right. that you admire, you know, artists that you, you know, artists, actors, yes. you know, fashion, pe designers. Like, there's so many people there. Interesting people. Well, who, yeah. who did you want to talk? Like, who would you want to go up and chat with that you haven't spent a lot of time with? Um, I was sitting next to James Corden. Yeah. And, um... And um, Alessandro, who used uh -huh. to design for Gucci, yeah. yes. who's amazing, and who I kind of was like fascinated by because I love what he did with Gucci. Yeah. Like, he was there, and he just left. Yes. And I was talking to him. He was saying, telling me how he, you know, is not doing anything right now, oh. and how he's like just left it, and it was, just needs time. And you know, it was just like interesting. Okay, yeah. There is something to be said for that concept. Taking a break, needing time, stepping I know. away. <laughs> I know, and not being afraid. I feel like you know. Believe it or not, since kids have been born, I've been thinking and the kind of like yeah. getting myself out of that kind of workaholic yeah. type of, yeah. you know, pace that I've been on. And now that I've been married, uh, now that I'm married in the past couple of years, it's like, how do we slow it so, all yeah. down? You, you've created this machine yes. Yes. that keeps going yes. and that has so many kind of, yes. you know, kind of silos and prongs to it. And you're like trying to like bring back the crank. Yes. You're like, yes. oh, you know, how do we how do we dial this back? And and that's been part of like my journey, like kind of my own personal journey. Well, the past that's like interesting. It's self care. It's all the it's things. And it's, it's also like just being there yes. all the time for your family yes. and yes. for your kids and for your husband. Like I I want to do that. Um, you know? Can we talk a little bit? Your husband said these things about you recently <laughs> that we loved, and we were like, we wanted to fact check it because you weren't sitting <laughs> next check. to him. Okay, he said you eat whatever you want. I Pizza, don't think that's true. cookies, yeah. ice cream, no. everything. He I said, would like hold on, can we just, let's respect no. Ben. Can we respect Ben for a moment, please? Yes. He said, you work out, but you're also kind of superhuman. Well, that's sweet. But, that's true. But he's very sweet. But um, the, the, the eating thing, I, it is true. He does see me eat pizza. He does see me eat cookies. He does see me eat those things. But I'm also conscious of what yes, I eat. Yes, of course. Yeah. You know, so there's a, there's, I try to have a balance to it. I think this past summer, because we got married and everything, or on our honeymoon, I was like, I kind of like threw it all to like, yeah, you're after like, I did the mother. Yeah, so the mother, I was like in the super mother. training for the mother. No, the, by the way, you and the mother. Yeah, I was the super, mother. I like saying the yeah, mother. Like I was, I was cut. You were cut. So I was, like I was lean. Eat the cookies. I was lean. lean. But did wait. you wait? You learned how to ride a motorcycle in the mother. I, I was on the motorcycle. <laughs> oh, okay. I was on the motorcycle. <laughs> okay, just making um, sure. Wait, uh, can we also say what he said that <laughs> if you could change one thing about him, it'd be his brevity. He tends to go on and on and on. <laughs> You know what? He's he's a writer, yeah. and words yeah. are his. Thing. Yes, and so he he does. He goes on and he talks, but and he can really. You ever say land that plane? Go ahead and land it. What do you mean? Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, let's get to the point. Uh, I'm, and I'm the opposite. I'm no, like, of, a, in a way, of very few words. Yes, you are. You know what I mean? And so, yeah. and I'm not like a, a chit chatter in no. that way. No. And so, um, not that he's a chit chatter, but yeah. I'm not like that. <laughs> right. And. Uh, and so we're, we're opposites that way. So he probably is more self-conscious about it than I even think about. I actually love listening to totally. him talk. I love it. You he have is been... so brilliant. Yeah. He is so, like, his, the way his mind works, and he's such an artist, he's so creative, he's so passionate about everything he does, oh. and he gets going Look and talking that. and Look doing the whole thing. And I'm just like... It's just watching him, like, oh my God, he's so brilliant. By the way, you're so in love. It's so I know. beautiful. Can we toast you with your beautiful? Uh, we have a be Lola. Da Lola. Okay. Oh, I want this switch. one. I want this one. Uh, Sorry. That one. <laughs> I like them all. You can't lose. Okay. Can't. What? Tell, tell us, us about, about this. this. Okay. So Delola is uh, is is a spritz uh -huh. that I created. It's mm. low calorie. It's all natural. Mm. It's gluten free. What? Uh, yes. How delicious is this? This is delicious. This is this is an, I think this is an Aperol. Tequila, mm. Amaro, Amaro, vodka, vodka. vodka. <laughs> this as is I, my drink. As I take a little vodka. Yeah, at ten in the morning. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, okay. guys, we're gonna enjoy this. We're gonna talk about the mother uh, coming up it right after the break. Yes. With ten in the morning. I'm a lightweight. <laughs> Everybody knows that. We do know that. I can't believe we're we have meet, you drinking We're going to meet your young co-star, Lucy Paez, yes. coming up right after amazing. this. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. Cheers. We are back with Jennifer Lopez and her 14-year-old co-star, Lucy <laughs> Paez. They're starring in a new movie called The Mother. Now, Jennifer plays a female assassin who comes out of hiding to protect her daughter. She gave up years earlier, played mm. by Lucy. Take a look. <laughs> You're driving. I'm 12. So I'm going to teach you. Why? You want to go home? I want that too. But not till you know how to survive everything it takes. And this is where we start. Lucy. Ooh. Wait, Lucy, did you, drive did, did you really learn how to drive that car? Well, te I'm going to tell you the story. Technically, because it was like day three of filming, and this random guy came up to me and was like, I'm going to teach you how to drive. So I called all my friends. I was like, I'm way cooler than you guys. I'm going to drive a truck, and I'm like such a baddie. And then I went onto the truck, and this guy only taught me how to put the ignition in and out. Oh, that was the it? Key into the, the key into the ignition. That's the key into the ignition. That's step one. That was it. And then he was like, we're done. And I was so disappointed, and I told Nikki, like, please, like, let can you make, it. yeah, let me, and she was like, was Jen I can, 12. <laughs> yeah. You were kidding. Seriously. Okay, so I have a question. Was Jennifer kind of like a mother figure to you uh, on the set? Because Jen, she's she got was. two kids close to your age. No, yeah. she, I mean, she was so motherly. Like, I <laughs> remember still that she got hand warmers, and she'd ask oh. for some hand warmers for me, too. Everything she got, I got, because oh. she'd ask for some. <laughs> and I think that she taught me a lot, oh. um, uh, Especially the side of the work ethic, yeah, especially like mm. I saw that she would come in at 5 a.m. Ready oh. to do this and last night she was at the MTV Awards like mm. singing and yeah. in a beautiful dress and the, wow. She was at 5 a.m. Like doing all the mm -hmm. Action in the mud and snow <laughs> and that to me was so impressive and to see yeah. someone that has mm -hmm. been mm -hmm. in this industry for like so much. Years. <laughs> like, no, she is such a mentor because you get to see, you know, someone that's yeah, an icon. She mm -hmm. yeah. she really is, She's, and that word is used a lot, but it's appropriate for is. her. Yeah. So you have kids that are about this age, as yeah. Hoda just I know. said. Yeah. Was that one of the reasons why you connected with this role? You know, for me, you know, playing the... Well, first of all, I like the idea of doing an action movie. Yeah. Especially at my age. You yeah, know totally. what I mean? And, and you don't get those type of roles. Those are, like, for, you know, when you first start out. Mm -hmm. And I did, like, a little action movie when I first started out, but I never mm -hmm. got to do something like this. And so that was the most exciting part to me. Of course, the mother aspect of it came very natural to, naturally mm -hmm. to me. Um, this is a very different kind of mother. And I like the idea of... We're all different kinds of mothers. Mm -hmm. And we all do it differently. Totally. And all you can do is love your kids and do your best. Because 
I think the thing about this movie is that she's made a lot of mistakes and made a lot of choices that she's not proud of. But the one good thing she did was this right here. Mm. And that, to me, is what resonated with, um, with, resonated with me about, about the script and about the movie. How do you feel about yourself as a mom? <laughs> it's so funny, right? Like, some days I think I'm crushing it, and some days I feel totally. like a total failure. Yeah. Yeah. And that's hard, yeah. you know? And I think we all feel that way. And I think that's what the movie's a little bit about, is like, have I failed? Have mm. I totally failed at this? Mm. Or, or am I doing okay? And, and I think we all need to recognize that we're, we're, we're being the version of the mother. If you're really doing your best, and I mm. think most people are always trying to do their best, um, you, you're doing okay. Yeah. And me and my sister were just talking about this last night. You know, it's mm. like, you know, do I feel good about what I'm doing? Do I feel good about the mom and how I love them, how I try to mentor them, how I try to shepherd them, how I try to, you know, kind of help them see what's important? Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, if you can feel good about that, then you're doing okay. And Behind. meanwhile, you have the yeah. world's yeah. best mothers yeah. right over mom. there. And a dad too. <laughs> we both, our mothers are here. Yeah. <laughs> and that says a lot, right? I mean, yes. that your mom is always with you. I know Huda's <laughs> favorite time of her life was when she danced with your mom. Maybe favorite. At your concert. Don't tell her kids. But she loved that. <laughs> Is it fun to see your, your parents here? It's Lisa? really yeah. funny to yeah. see them here. Like how they're, and my dad's like just smiling and looking all proud. Well, I'm sure and... they're so proud of you. I mean, yeah. for first of all, Lucy's amazing. In she this is. Yeah. She really and is. And we, we so did bad. have a great time. Y'all, please go, go see It's so Mother. good. It's out Friday. Yeah, it's out. It's, you can watch it May 12th on Netflix.